Hello, welcome back to another USA Code problem solution. Um, today I solved the problem, why did the cow cross the road, number three, from the 2017 February bronze contest, problem three. And basically, uh, I'm going to explain this problem real fast. Uh, basically, you have uh, the number of test cases, I mean, the number of, I mean, individual uh, sort of units of time, like, that are scheduled uh, sort of as appointments to start answering questions, so each cow, so this is the starting time, right? Basically, the times are just um, integers that are in increasing order, so for example, this would be time 2, uh, this would be the unit of time 8, and then 5, so basically, the first value they give you is the time that their appointment is scheduled, and the second value is the time that it takes for the appointment to go through, and you basically want to find the total amount of time that it would take to get all of these cows to finish taking the questions. So, for example, they sh they show um, the first cow arrives at time 2, and you add 1, so basically the time is 3, and then you wait 2 hours for the next possible value, which is 5, and then you um, add 7, so then the n now the time is 12, but it's past this value, right? So the the appointment is delayed back um, until this appointment before this one is over. So at 12. So the, now the current value is 12. So you would just uh, finish this appointment. So it would be 15. That's how you get 15. So this is a this is an easy solution. All we need to do is just find the current value value, and if the current value is greater than this the um, this uh, value, then we just set the current value to, um, then we just set that value to the current value and we add that number. And we just keep going as usual. Because it doesn't really matter, like how much smaller it is, because the current value will just override it. Okay? And, yeah. So, let me just explain, uh, show this really quickly. Um, and yeah, as you can see, uh, we can sort the list. Um, we can sort it because we need to make sure that they're all in ascending order because if they're just in random order then it will be a very different answer. So let's go to the code. All right. So basically uh, the first thing that we want to do is read in our input. So uh, what we have here is we need to have our files. So. Uh, we're going to import sys. This is the easiest way of dealing with uh, USGAO's file system. The easier, um, the earlier versions. So we just open the file name. Okay, Q. How do you spell this? Sorry. Uh, English is not my first language. And we read it. So then, and out. Open. Cal Q. Dot out. And we write it. So we read in our input. Uh, we have our n integer, the number of uh, appointments, we have our total times, and we have our current uh, time value. So we're just basically going to be adding uh, all of our values into this times uh, list. So we add our input here. We're going to make sure they're integers so we can work with them easier. This is just the natural connotation for it. And we're going to sort this list. So times, that's sort. Alright, so that's the basic. We have set up our input now, and we want to work on to the program. So we're going to iterate through this times list, right, of course, range of n. And we basically want to check if the current value is 1. Because if it's 1, then the current value is just going to be uh, that, that value. So if the value is equal to 1, if the, uh, I mean, the, the first appointment, I say, so the current value is equal to the um, the current value is equal to the first appointment, and the current value is also going to be added by the number of times the amount of time it w it's going to take. Since we don't care about really um, like how much time, if uh, like it will uh, remain over like overflow, for example, like twelve it ends at twelve and the appointment is at eight, such like that. So we don't need to worry about that for the first test case, but now we need to worry about if we have, if it's not one, right? So if the current, so if the current value is greater than times of the current value, so 
as we looked in the USA code problem, um, the time was actually greater than our value. So as we can see here, the time is actually greater. So 8 and 12, they were greater. So in that case, what we would do is um, we would actually, let's just go back here. Um, we would just set the current value is equal going to be equal to um, the hold on a second um, so the current value is just going to be equal to the same it doesn't really matter but our times value is just going to be uh, set to the current value and then where our current value we're going to increase it by the times of the how long it's going to take but if it's not greater then we just do as usual the current value is equal to the time the appointment and the current value is also going to be added by times of i of 1 we actually don't need this line because it doesn't do anything to our current value so then we just print uh, current in the uh, value so there we go as you can see we have our input here and what we're going to do now is test to see if it actually gives us 15 and it does so um, that's my solution for it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, it was just a little quick solution I did uh, it's not a really hard problem but I hope you guys learned something from it still uh, learned something about Python if you did make sure to comment or uh, ask me a question for in my discord so Thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys later.